retouch the face. It's a master fix. I always like to hydrate myself, especially when I'm in bright lights like this, like the in a studio, you know? Um, and especially if I set my face with a lot of powders, I feel like my skin can become a little dry after a while, so I do like to set reset that. Just to refresh the makeup, fix the makeup, boost its wear, just so it lasts longer. It's always good to carry a bottle of Master Fix with you by Maybelline. When did this turn into a Maybelline commercial? Please sponsor me. We are gonna start by going in with the Sephora 19 brush and I think I'm gonna go into the shade Brilliant to be my transition shade. So you're gonna pack Brilliant onto my Sephora 19 brush like so and we're gonna blend her into the crease. Oh wow, that's really white. That's a lot whiter than what I was expecting it to be. So I'm just gonna bring that up the whole way to the brow bone as kind of like my brow highlight. I'm living for that. A karaoke night with a squaw last night and I was out till about 1 a.m. and it was just, I had a really good time with them. <laughs> I work with they're just so amazing like I don't think I've met a better group of people in my entire life I'm just going in with a um, crease 315 brush by MUA professional and I'm going into the shade bright this brush is just really tiny and it really helps you get into the crease a bit more precisely shade is literally so pretty I'm loving life right now like so much. I just moved into my new house again. I know like every five uploads it's like I'm in a new fucking house and like I know that's like probably like what the fuck is going on in her life type thing to you guys but um it's just a lot like it really is a lot. Do I see myself being in California anytime soon? Honestly yes and no. I obviously think about it every single day and that's not gonna change like ever, I don't think. But for right now, I'm really happy with where I'm at in life. And I just wanna try and get my life together first, like maybe get a car and shit before I like move across the country. I'm gonna go in with the shade Bold next and I'm going in with my Wet n Wild brush. I don't know what kind of brush this is. Shader brush, what do you call it that? And I'm just going to go into this outer area with it and kind of just like buff it upwards in one area, which is like right, right here. I'm just taking those around along the edges, just kind of buff out any harsh lines. I'm gonna go in with the shade Bootylicious, or I'm sorry, Bodacious, which is that orange shade that I live for. And I'm just gonna use the same brush, honestly. I'm just gonna pack that all over that outer lid area, bringing it up. I'm like blending, I'm literally patting this on right now, all over. I'm gonna go back in a little bit with the shade Bright, and we're just going to add a little bit more peachy tone to that orange. Some of Brazen. Brazen is a dark chocolatey brown, and I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques B04 brush. And I have like barely any on here, I hope, because I can't tell. I'm going to literally pack that right there. I'm not going to blend that out yet. Yet. 
get 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 that color is packed on I'm gonna just take my Sephora blending brush again and I'm just gonna blend it out if I set down some powder on it I have highlight and stuff on, I don't want to like, you know, fuck it up. Go back in with this brush. It has absolutely nothing on it but the product that I just used. And I'm just blending over top of that dark shade a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and repeat what I just did on the top of my lids, on the bottom of my lids. And I will be right back. Now that my under eye is done, I want to figure out how I'm gonna do this last part. It's brave, it has the pink color reflex in it, it's a purple color, it's very patchy, and I don't wanna fuck up what's going on up here because I really like it. I really like what's going on up here, and I really hate that color. So, um, we're gonna use all the other ones, but we're just not gonna use that one. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Babe. Babe, I'm gonna take on to my brow bone to highlight that. Just like to blend out the harshness of that because that literally looked so sloppy. I don't know, that's fine. The shade Buff. Buff, I think I'm gonna take her right on the inner corner area. the inner corner it's so pretty it's just so light too it's very light and natural like this color and then I'm just slowly bring that in to the lid area my lid space kind of creating like a cut crease moment but not really Next, I'm gonna go in with Brainiac, which is that beautiful, like, brick red cranberry shimmer shade. And I think I'm gonna do this one all, almost all over the lid. Kind of just put it a little bit over top of Buff as well, but not too much. Just blend lightly together next I'm gonna go on with built which is that beautiful like gold champagne shimmer color and we're gonna put that right in the center then I'm gonna use some of the shade breathtaking which is very similar shade to the shade bold the matte shade bold um, got this with the shimmer, which I love that they did that. And then just tight line that next to the outer edge of Built. Just to help build some dimension. I'm keeping that. I really hope I'm not talking too low for you guys. It's just my voice, like if I try and talk too loud like this, my voice starts to like diminish and like go away and I feel like you guys won't be able to hear me at all then. So I'm trying to be very soft spoken and just talk like this so you guys can understand me and my voice is like ah! I'm gonna go in with Bootylicious which is that dark coppery toned brown shade, shimmer shade. And this is going to literally go just on the outer edge as if it were a winged liner, but not really because then we're going to curve her up and around like this so that you have like a V shape here. Do you see that fucking fallout? Do you see that motherfucking fallout? Bitch. I'm gonna get rid of all this terrible fallout. I'm 
I'm gonna take a little bit more Brainiac and I'm just gonna layer this right in here. And I'm gonna take a little bit more bright as well. That completes the eyeshadow portion of this look. Go ahead and throw on some mascara. Today I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Cosmetics Super Fan Out Mascara. This is a false lash look effect mascara. And the brush looks like that. On the packaging it says no clumping, no smudging. No, none of that. And I wore this out the other day and I actually never got to finish filming my final thoughts on the mascara. So I'm going to tell you this now. Um, it did not smudge one bit. It did not clump up one bit. I absolutely loved how this mascara turned out to be. And you guys should really go check it out at any of your Smashbox locations. So if you are in the Rehoboth area and Delaware area at all, there is a Smashbox in the Peebles in Rehoboth Beach. So yeah, go in there and tell them Sierra sent you. Okay. Before I do the bottom lashes, I am going to take a bit of Brave because I said I wasn't going to, but I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna use some Brave. And I'm just going to tie this on my waterline area, close to it, but not like too terribly close. I'm just going to bring it in about there, because I feel like if I bring it in too far, it's going to close off my eye, and we don't want to do that. Guys, I'm going to go apply some lashes on camera. I'm going to be using the Andrea 91 lashes. And I'm using the duo glues to glue these on. So yeah, I'll be right back for you guys to see the final look. All right, you guys. The lashes are on. They're snatched to perfection. I'm just trying to open my water. Oh, and these are the lashes on. They're on. They're snatched. Um... I really love how these lashes look like on like I didn't think that they were gonna look so much like more like my real lash than anything else like anytime I put on lashes I'm like oh wow like these look fake as fuck but these actually look really nice and they complement my eyes very well um so yeah I think I'm gonna have to go repurchase these lashes because I always ruin my lashes by doing this now that my eyes are done I'm going to go in with some liquid suede lipstick by NYX and this is in the shade, it's a sway slash empress, so sway. Purple shade, it looks like, like that, it's just a very pastel-y purple shade, which I love for summertime is the pastels and things like that. I'm glad that I did not go to Firefly this year, but next year, nothing is standing in my way. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be fucking crunk. Come find me. Firefly 2K19, baby. Firefly 2019, baby, I'm there. Come see me. We could do a meet and greet, guys. So I'm going to let this dry down and I'm going to, you know, look at my makeup for a little bit longer, check it out. Just going to see how I feel about it and we will be back with our final review. Alright everybody, so now that I've had a few moments to think about how I feel about my makeup today and how I feel about this palette right here that we were trying out. I really, I like the palette. I love, I love how 
all the shadows blended so effortlessly together and just I really like how my makeup like turned out on my eyes overall like I think it's really pretty um do I think that they could have done a better job as far as as far as the formulas go yes I do a hundred percent because I shouldn't be blending on color and it start to disappear and then you have to like really pack it on um and as an artist that I like it's a little frustrating to me like if I'm trying to do a quick 15 minute makeup routine on somebody else because I have a line of people waiting I don't want to be sitting there forever just waiting for their makeup to blend out like blend in so and actually have like a pigmentation I prefer high pigmented colors um, some of these were very pigmented colors and I think that they're absolutely gorgeous I think that they swatched gorgeous I think a few of them did perform um, rather shitty compared to their swatches but overall, this palette, I would give this palette a 7 out of 10. It's pretty sturdy. Um, it, it's not heavy. It doesn't feel luxurious. But it definitely does feel like she can handle a good beating. So um, I definitely look for that in a palette. I love that it comes with a mirror. So now I can travel with it and do like my makeup in a little mirror. Um, even if I'm not using the palette, I can still use its mirror, which is really nice because my Jaclyn Hill palette does not have a mirror. And I know she came out with a bulk collection with Morphe, which got recalled because an inconsistency in shadows. Which I think that the pan sizes of the shades is like really tiny, especially for the price that you're purchasing for. I can't exactly remember how much I bought this for. I think it was like 30 some dollars, which isn't too bad. You get two four six eight ten twelve shades for thirty some dollars like thirty two or thirty four dollars plus the mirror plus a brush the brush is crappy the mirror is awesome the, the packaging is very retro in, in perspective but um i do really like how they're going for that retro activity um but it just overall is cheaply done. I would give this palette a 7 out of 10. I definitely feel like the Balm Cosmetics is not finished yet. I have tried out some of their highlights. I have tried out some of their other palettes um, while I was working for Smashbox because this is on a counter near Smashbox's counter. And so I would often like go over and swatch the shades and like play around with brushes and stuff and like see how they blended out in my arms. And I do really like some of the palettes that they've come out with. So My camera died, but I just want to come on here and say really quick that I do overall give this palette a 7 out of 10. And I really do like how my makeup came out today. So yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and Leave some purple hearts down below for this really purple vibe on my lips. Love you guys.